to take it a little easy and then just walk over to this palace that's right next to our Airbnb. I can't say any of the names. I just them every time I try. But this is the one that starts with the C and we think it's a little bit smaller than the big one that starts with the G. And so um, we're gonna check this one out today and not really sure what to expect, but as we walked over here, there's tons of tour buses just lining the street, so it must be good. <laughs> So we just came from the main throne hall and now we're walking through the complex and we're starting to actually see some like plaques and stuff that are telling more about this palace. And so it was talking about how in the late 1400s this was built mainly as a residence hall and wasn't meant for government purposes. And so it was just for the royal family and their families to live. And so the hall right behind me, this one was for the sleeping quarters of the deceased king's wife. And then right over here is for the king and his wife. But the king, or what, I was talking about some, some kings were born here and then they died right over here. So we're actually starting to learn some history about some of the different buildings, but there's all these separate buildings all throughout. And it's so funny just seeing how the, each one has a single singular purpose rather than like one large building with rooms. It's kind of an interesting it's new different. type of mm -hmm. palace. Yeah, new to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> So from the palace that we were at, there was a much larger palace right next door that we paid um, just a little bit more to get into. And so this one has a much, much larger throne hall as you saw, and then um, a lot larger grounds. And so there are residential halls and there are actual government halls. So like this one right behind me is one where they actually had talks about annexing Korea to Japan. It was into a dynasty here in Korea. Um, but yeah, so this place, if you're wondering, it's super cheap to get into these uh, palaces, which is so surprising because it's an incredible um, place to walk around and see, especially here in the fall and seeing all the different lead colors. But so the first palace only costs us about 2,000 won for the two of us to get in, which is a little bit less than two bucks um, U US. And then this palace is only uh, 3,000 won each. So just under $6. So total to see these two massive compounds and palaces, it's only costing us um, you know, about $8 for the both of us to get in. So super um, great way of seeing local sites for a very inexpensive cost. <laughs>
couple days we've seen this line outside of one of these food stands um, right by our Airbnb and so tonight we decided we're just gonna hop in it and see what it is and um, it, we weren't sure what it was but we asked the girl behind us and she told us it's this it sounds like it's like a, a dessert thing it looked like fish it's like looks like a fish um, but the girl behind us said that it's um, some kind of dough filled with red bean paste and then some of them are filled with like a sweet cream filling um, and so they looked really good and so she, when she the lady made it she put dough or batter in like a almost like a waffle iron kind of cast and then put the paste or the other stuff inside and then clamped it and it cooked and then it came out like a little fish so I hope but they're good you, but you walk up and you hand them 2001 which is again just a little bit under two dollars and that gets you 15 of the fish and they told us that if you don't specify the flavor they'll just give you a mix between the red bean and the custard and uh I'll be honest, and it looked like she grabbed only red bean. <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm a little nervous because I have not enjoyed any red bean. And I can't eat anywhere. bean by myself, so you're gonna help me. <laughs> All right, so we're back in our room, and we're going to go ahead and give these little fish a shot. So yes, yeah, so again, it just is a little fish shape, and I can, I can't find any that don't look like they're red bean paste. So I'm just gonna give it a shot, and it's still really hot. The dough is really good. I'm not tasting the red bean paste. You just taste dough? I know I got some, yeah, I just taste dough. It tastes just like a, just tastes just like a funnel cake, kind of bad. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yep. Just real doughy. I like it. <laughs> so we went and just got some food to take back to our room. Um, and I got some ramen cause I know that's Japanese, but I really, really have liked ramen a lot. Um, and mine was only like 4,500 won. So, which is like a little under, well, about four bucks probably. So I got the seafood ramen and just found, oh gosh, I can get him a couple tentacles in my ramen. So I think, I guess I better give him a try. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Is this your first tentacle? I've ever? never had a tentacle before. Mm, there's eat the, all in one bite, do you think? I've never eaten a tentacle, so. Okay. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suck on your tongue. And... <laughs> Don't eat me back. Okay. A little chewy. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, it tastes fine. It's just chewy and I keep thinking about there being an octopus in my mouth. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the kind of stuff that you see on Fear Factor, <laughs> not at the dinner table. <laughs> Okay, this morning we're at Gyeongbokgung Palace. Um, from our understanding, it's the main palace here in South Korea, the big one, and we can already tell there's a lot more people here and a lot more people in the traditional dress. Um, and so we're gonna try to catch this free English tour here in a second, and then we're going to stay around this afternoon for the changing of the guard. Here we go. So back behind us over here is the Blue House, which is the equivalent of the White House in South Korea. So it's right next to the main palace that we were just in. And so we walked over here because our tour just ended and then um, the change of the guard ceremony isn't for like two hours. But we're gonna go walk around, look at the Blue House grounds for a little bit. And then we're gonna go grab um, some lunch and then we gotta get back in time for the changing of the guard ceremony. So the main palace was really nice because again, it's only 6,000 won for the two of us to get in. The tour was free. We knew what time it was, so we got there in time for it. And then the changing of the guard ceremony, of course, also is free. And then we were able to exit the palace to go look at the blue house and then go get lunch. And then we are allowed to re-enter with our ticket. And so it's not 
really a bad deal at all to get such great um, historical sites and then um, not pay as much. So. So we just got done with the changing of the guard ceremony here at the palace and it was a really cool change of the guard. It's completely different than a lot of the other ones that we've seen before like at Buckingham Palace. Like this one was completely a reenactment, kind of like a ceremonial thing. Um, and all of these guys have like little pasted on beards and mustaches that they're wearing, I guess, to be accurate to the Josian, Josian time. How do you say it? Yeah, <laughs> I'll put it up on the screen so I can see it. But anyways, so there were huge drums getting beaten. They were blowing on horns and on seashells and they were marching around and dust was flying because of the gravel that's everywhere. And there were huge flags flying with dragons on them. So very unique and very cool. Um, so they changed the guards and then it was over. It lasted probably about 10, 15 minutes, um, but really neat. We're glad that we got here. Definitely, you don't need to get here as early as like a Buckingham Palace. Um, Buckingham Palace, we showed up like an hour before and it was like completely necessary. Mm -hmm. This one, you only need to show up like maybe 10, 15 minutes in advance, if that. And then they're gonna pull the ropes out and then you stand up next to it and then you can see the show. But very neat and very cool experience to see this very unique changing at the guard ceremony. All right, we have found ourselves in the Gangnam district, which is obviously famous for the Gangnam style song, but also for plastic surgery, glitz and glamour, shopping, and so we're checking it out right now. We just took the subway over here. The subway was about 13 or 14 stops away from the palace, and that cost us about 4,000 won to get over here. 4,100 won with the deposit, but we put the card in, we got our deposit back. So now we're over here checking it out. We're gonna jump to some stores, I got myself some long john so we can get prepared for the winter that's coming and some of the next stops on our trip. And then we will go from here and see what else we can uh, try to find in Gangnam. the line just for the city bus here in Gangnam. I cannot believe people are waiting that long. We thought there was a line for like some kind of huge shoe opening or store opening or something like that. But it was all just for the public bus. It's all of these down the street. That is incredible. in Gangnam. It was a really cool area. It was pretty ritzy. It was lots of fun shops and food and all kinds of things to walk around and see. Um, and so now we're headed back and then tomorrow is our last day in Seoul. We're not sure what we're going to do yet, but I think we'll have fun. Okay. 
Oh, oh, oh.